my thing. Good afternoon, everybody. We're still back in into TV in today's TVO, and we're going to the losers loser side of the bracket, and we're going to decide who's going to actually meet Seabox in the finals. But first, we are going to Lena versus Double Cookies in River Drift. Oh, pretty standard openings right here. Uh, is that BJ Octavia? That's Octavia. On yeah, that is Octavia. One of my personal favorite cards. Oh, that is a follow up play from Double Cookies. Cookies, just. Yeah, it, for the looks of it though, it seems like Dribblina does not have a way to follow up. And I have a feeling now, um, what is it? Now, Double Cookies doesn't have it either, so now they will have to play and come into their bases. That's gonna be the game plan. Yeah, like, both sides are sealed off very quickly. So, there's a bit of spacing contention in this sector, but otherwise, it's just... Well, honestly, here's the thing. Technically speaking, yes. The problem is that Trevelina does not, unless it has a diagonal card, it has no way to contest the middle. That's so true. I do think, um, I think unless they actually, I think it's just a situation of comboing off, and unfortunately for Trevelina, Double Cookies has a lot more space to do so. And yeah. even if they go for a special attack, I think that's more of a, I'll get points rather than get follow-up. Yeah, both sides are pretty locked into their own um, bases right now. So, it's just setting up for what's to come next. Oh, double? Double? Oh, this might have a week, but out the next. Ooh, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mary Gold in the in for Trevlin and their face! That is two special points. If they have. Yeah, they must have sent effect. That's the only combo piece that actually just makes sense. That's beautiful. I love to see it. Excellent base combo, but now is on Treblina to actually to actually get points here. Yeah, Treblina's up three special points right now, uh, with a five point deficit, which is not a whole lot. Yes. Anything could happen here. Double Cookies, meanwhile, have the space to maybe actually play a little bit on the top side. But they have a point lead, and... Treblina actually has a lot of good choices here. Do they actually want to actually get as much points as possible? Do they want to get, like, a big piece that actually gets some special points at the cost of giving Double Cookies special points? It is up to Trevelina, but unfortunately that timer is not being nice. Oh, barely. They put down a piece down. They actually put... Double Cookies they ended up putting the E-Leader in. It w now it's a situation that both players actually are... They got, it's basically what they wanted in the final turn. Yeah. Uh, some interesting elements here. Uh, I don't think the steel was a great placement for creating it, but it was mostly due no, to actually, running out of time. I don't think that's a bad place for, for it either. I feel like that is a pretty decent amount of points. And Treblina now has the option to maybe... Oh, okay. That is actually a very good advantage on Double Cookies, getting a lot of special points. And unfortunately for Treblina, now... Um, Double Cookies has an option to a 5 finisher rather than a 3, the 3 12. Treblina has no choice but to use the Zipcaster now. It's a pretty good Zipcaster. Oh, but Double only has a 3 self as well. Maybe they didn't have a, a, a good card to actually put that. Not a 5 a five card they could actually. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Double Cookies with the one point win over Treblina. That Barely. is incredible. Yeah, every point matters here. Yeah, the, the 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 small point lead that double cookies had for pretty much the entirety of the last season. 
that living in the land of the Nadi was a plant. There, I will point, where is the first one? I feel like the steel deal from Charlie and Dante more, but... Yes, it could have, but I don't necessarily... Here's the thing. Considering the one point lead, I do feel like they could have done more, but not that much more. Like, it was very close. It just came down to the wire. Yeah, who am I to get? <laughs> We're just here to talk about table surfing. Well, yeah, no, we're not here to judge. We're just here to comment in their matches. And it seems like match number two is going to be in X Maxa Garden. The usually a very, I guess you could say, soul stage. But, yeah, it's still... And their both players are actually doing something interesting in, in their turn one. They're blocking their sides, but... Uh-oh. Okay, Treblina actually has a very interesting turn too. And once again, oh. Double Cookies is actually using a 3 to their advantage. However, this time cutting the middle and the right in one fell swoop. That is a really good, like, that really good recoil for Double Cookies here. Yeah. But Treblina also now just has the left, entire left side to themselves. Yeah, but however, I honestly say in this situation, the pressure is on Ter uh, uh, Terlina. Um, Double Cookies has all the space in the world to just basically work on. It's just like, it doesn't really matter if the left is all, all for, the, for themselves. Uh, Double Cookies has the middle and right to themselves too, in a little space in their base to combo. So, yikes. Can Trilina poke through to the right? Uh, With a diagonal card, I could imagine. Now, they cannot. <laughs> okay, maybe they can poke. Wait, no, no, no. I see one card they can actually poke out right now if they use it. Oh, the, the, the they can actually poke. Yeah, they can actually poke in. But they're thinking maybe to come on the base. No, no, it, 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 that has to be the play, but unfortunately. Treblina doesn't see it yet. Oh, that is Rage Blaster, but he cannot play. But maybe Treblina actually could see the hint, the fact that you could play it, but they're not going for it. Instead, they're going to keep using their, their combo pieces. And that chance to actually break in with Dustin Rage Blaster is going to... Oh, maybe they were waiting for this, uh, for the 96. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely is the thing. Come on, Triplina, come on, Triplina, we, you, we can see it here, we want you to break through! Oh no, 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 oh no, they're passing! That's, that's really unfortunate. No, Triplina can, there's no way they can not see it! No, 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 Triplina, you have a way to break in, you don't have to break off now! They're going for it, but it's just like... Oh, it is so sad as, as a commentary to see that there is a play you could do, but it's just like... And there it goes. Okay. Well, on the bright side, Trelia still has a way into the right. <laughs> just not yeah, and now we are thinking of using Range Blaster. Uh... Well, that is actually beneficial for Trelina. They ended up using their 96 and getting a, their special point too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now. Okay, maybe Trelina I... has something on their mind. Yeah, I imagine Trelina has the other 96 gal, the, the other year three, ready. Yeah, more than likely. They were trying so, to be patient here. That's two of Trelina's last three turns accounted for. What's Trelina's gonna do? What, what are they gonna do Wait. on their other one? Oh, okay, there is the 96 deco. Now it's a matter of special, either using it now or... Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. More basic. Okay, so now, 
Oh, I guess they were relying on their base combo, but the problem is, yeah, that's gonna put Trouble in at 6 points, but it could be overkill. It may not be a, a thing that... I don't think Trevelina may have a card to play with 6 special points that was worth the wait. I mean, it's either play it now or... Yeah, play I it. think that it's playing it now, just for the yeah. fact that... At the end of the day, you have to use it anyway, so it's just like... That now, is besides... It, Trevelina is still 10 points ahead. The question is, what are they going to do for the final turn? They have a lot of options here. Yeah, and now Trilina can use a 5 cost instead of, well, a 312, where Double Cook is fast to use a 312. And that might just secure the game for Trilina again. Yeah, however, it could be in a position as well that they don't have good special points that they, to the point that they have to use a 312 anyways. Oh, no, 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 please, no, please don't use the Rage Blaster, please, no, don't use it now, you got an opportunity earlier and you missed out on it. <laughs> okay, they're both going for Ultra Simply last turn, but more likely Drupalina has the advantage for, with the 10 point lead. Yeah, the yep, that's an easy win for Drupalina. It's a 1-1 now. It's all fun now. Well, that was a fun game to watch. <laughs> uh, the set is now on uh, 1 to 1. They're tied 1 to 1. And we'll find out what you're going to do next in a second. Not 
like I uh, personally I sometimes just get stuck doing that and then I keep it could be just myself, but it could be just me, but I, when I do use it for the help early, I end up forgetting about it, and then like, wait, where did my control go? <laughs> At the very end. Uh, uh, but yeah, it just comes down, uh, you're taking away some of your power to special attack later on. Uh, which, I suppose you could plan around, but, uh, Oh, we're going to boxes. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> we have boxes here. We are going for small com combo pieces and see what happens. Um, Or maybe big pieces to actually get as much space as possible. Then actually play the... Oh, that's a good start for, for Double Cookies. Going for Captain and actually setting up quite nicely yeah i unfortunately shredding that does not have anything similar to that slice so now double cookies just has a bunch of space taken yeah the one catch though about that is that while it's a lot of space up the up the back it also means that it's a lot of space for the arena to special over and as long as they're able to at least combo off or at least get enough special points the arena is not in a bad position either. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens, but I, as I imagine Trelina also has something similar, of a similar size. I mean, at least that's what most people have with their boxes. Though, at least I imagine that, that is Trelina's gameplay, but Trelina also didn't start with it. It's a situation yeah. that Double Cookies actually just got a better start. It's just as simple as that. Yeah. I was just thinking in the sense where Perlina at some point might have to pass over that comic which could be a problem. I don't know. We'll oh see. yeah, that could be a problem. We'll see. Perlina is not exactly in a bad spot either. Right now they're actually Okay, that is a very good good auto stamp. And something I would actually do myself, simply simply because like there's no way Double Cookies left that space without any plan. There's no way. So denying that combo potential for later, yeah, definitely the right call. And now Carolina could have the advantage here. Um, they are thinking of Mini Splatling, um, um, what is it? Uh, same Mini Splatling, but decided against it, and now it's, um, Carolina's turn to go in the offense here. Yeah, Carolina's has one more point, uh, one more special point there, Double Cookies. Uh, and Double Cookies is actually now going for the... Which is actually a very good special attack for the sake of actually getting combos. It's a really profitable curl bot. Yeah. But as I said earlier, there's a lot of space that Terlina can special over that Double Cookies does not have that much. So Terlina can afford to be a lot more aggressive in that these that returns. Yeah, especially going to it. Trillian now has, I believe, two more special points? Yeah, two more special points yeah. to double cookies here. And then, in Treblina could actually start the last returns with a perfect Jet Squelcher. That's very nice. Well, double, double cookies is setting up a little job in the, in the yeah. bottom. They can keep attacking, but again, Treblina has so much space that is protected by, by vessels that I do feel like Treblina has the advantage in terms of actually pressing the issue. Yeah. I mean, Treblina definitely has, like, the capacity to special attack both on, like, both of these last turns here. I don't think that was an issue. It's more of how much value can Treblina get here when there's not a whole lot of space to work with. I mean, that's a pretty good spot. Pressure. Okay, the one who's instead of going for drop double. Okay. Alright, we're gonna hit okay. the last 
And the one thing is that Drevelina actually has a, a three kill, a, sorry, a three kills of points versus uh, Double Cookies 2. And unfortunately for Double Cookies, they could not attack as hard as Drevelina could. So that is easily a win in Drevelina's favor. You're a good player. Uh, but yeah, Drevelina just had the upper hand uh, with special points. Special points in the fact that even though Double Cookies had a much better start than Drevelina, it also meant that uh, Drevelina, sorry, that Double Cookies was a lot more vulnerable to Drevelina's special attack. Yeah, I see it. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I saw the Yo-Yo Fry coming in, just not been able to place, be placed down at all. That didn't give a bad tip. You can actually like find some large card and slap it onto my box that boxy boxy stack as well. I do need to modify my 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 also my uh, boxy uh, deck uh, uh, further as well. Simply because I, I made it with the mentality of just not running out of gas, basically going small pieces and just combo off as much as possible. The boxy now has changed to the point that Instead, you want the big pieces to actually come off and get a bandage early. Yeah. It, it's pretty impressive when you get a well, well, I suppose that our game, the game we saw just then wasn't a really good example of that, but uh, getting a large piece early, whereas your opponent has a small piece, that could be very impressive on a map that's really small. Could, you could wall off space pretty easily. Like, I can imagine um, a Joe, for example, if that somehow goes uncontested, that could wall off a pretty significant chunk of the map. But then you run the risk of it um, getting over that. Yeah. Uh, it's the risk of running a lot. Well, now it's 2-1 in Trevelina's favor, and we are going for the fourth game into Pedal to the Metal. I personally love this stage a lot. I do feel like this is the stage that you absolutely want to show off how good is your base building. Yeah. Of I, course you... Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just saying, I was also enjoy the stage a lot. Oh, yeah. Hmm, Trevelina is considering maybe playing defensive here, and well, that's a good idea. I don't think that's. Here's the thing: you still in this kind of stage, you still want to press the issue. That is still an excellent defensive play. Now Trevelina has to go up. It, 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 it's like it's not up to discussion here. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, now that now that However, uh, now that the Trillina's uh, face is completely walled off, uh, they can just like go up with no worries at all. Meanwhile, double cookies, uh, double cookies face is wide open if Trillina wants to keep going up. I think Trillina has to keep going up. Yeah. I think in this situation, you press the advantage. You keep going up. Ah. Not I do believe, however, that that should be enough to actually block off the right side, but the left technically is still available. Terplina does have the flexibility to just be able to keep going up to defend their base, which is what they're going for, going for anyways. Yeah, it looks like so, uh, Terplina wants to hold on to the mini spotlight for the combo right here, which yeah. makes sense. I, I can stand. Uh, Unfortunately, Kavlina is also one space too big for the, fitting that classic squiffer in the middle. It would give potentially a special point to... What is it? To double cookies, but... It failed to be able to attack in the middle. Yeah, now that... Um, now that it's, both sides are completely sealed off, it's... It's time for more special. Uh, yeah, it's not good about it. Ooh, I didn't even realize that 
access to the, the Octo Bomber and oh boy, that actually was really good for Double Cookies. They ended up setting yeah. up nearly all their special. That's so crazy. I kind of want to just record a clip of it and look at it again. <laughs> I didn't get a good look at it. That's very sad. Double Cookies has to attack and they have the opportunity to attack in into Treblina's face, but it doesn't really get in the way of Treblina's gameplay either. It yeah, does give uh, an special point and a point of, a way to attack, but it's just like... With that being said, I do feel like, even though they have the same amount of special, I do feel like Treblina is in a worse position than Double Cookies is now. Yeah, not only because um, Treblina doesn't have a a lot of good special positions to like special attack off of, but Double Cookies also has the point advantage. Well, they can actually put down that Octo Order and get some points, although they need to be they actually could have given uh, Double Cookies a special point. I do think this is actually really bad for Treblina, even though they started very well. I honestly say, Octal Order is the way to go, in all honesty, even if the follow-up isn't fantastic. Meanwhile, Double Cookies puts down the Captain and getting their special points. Treblina is three points behind, but I do feel like they can actually get some value, but I yeah, do think Double down. Cookies has a better position. Yeah, it just comes down to the 312 right here, and yeah, I do agree. I think Double Cookies has a better chance of getting good value off of this. And also, double up three points? Yeah, it's, all, it's three. It's not a lot. But I say that it's completely possible that Drevlina to come back and get a lot of value. It's just a matter of getting a good three twelve. Yeah. If they go for the Zipcaster, well, Double Cookie is going for the Ultra Stamp. Oh, I didn't see that. Yep, Double Cookie's had it. There's no way. Oh no, Drevlina wins by one again! Oh. Uh. <laughs> <Ball>. <laughs> oh my god, that 